I know it's not quite Providence, but it, does it feel like a little bit of a homecoming for you? Oh, absolutely. It always does. Um, Boston is a special place in my heart. Providence is a special place in my heart. And my wife is from here. We come here all the time and we have days off. In the off season, a lot of, a lot of people that, um, a lot of friends, a lot of family, a lot of people that I love. And uh, it's always special to come here and have a nice crowd tonight. And uh, obviously, leave with a win too is, is also good. How many tickets tonight? Uh, too many. Too many, too many. No, it was quite expensive. Let's <laughs> just keep, put it that way. <laughs> in, in terms of Friar connections, Craig here, any of your former teammates? Yeah, Craig was here. My uh, former teammates were here. Um, all the coaching staff really was here from, from Providence. And um, yeah, my agent is here. He was a really good friend. And um, yeah, my, my wife's family all came up and or all came down. They live up, some live up in New Hampshire. Some, some live close to here. It's, um, yeah, like I said, a lot of people, uh, a, lot, a lot of love. How often do you stay in touch with Craig? Oh, we we speak a lot. I, sp I speak a lot to um, to him. Maybe like once or twice every month. More, sometimes more, sometimes less. Um, I know right now, obviously, it's not the season for him, so he has a little bit more time. He actually came to Miami, did a little vacation with his family, and I saw him there a few weeks ago. And um, yeah, it's always nice to, to connect and, and, and see, obviously. Um, how the kids are growing, you know, and, 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 it's, and they always check in on me as well. What did you think about the artificial turf? There was a lot of talk about maybe some players not playing because of it. Do you think it really makes a huge difference or, or no? It makes a huge difference, yeah, it does. Um, I mean, it's, we knew that the turf was the turf coming in here. It's, I think it's pretty new, played very different than the last few years, I thought. Um, and yeah, I didn't really think it was great. I don't really think it's, it's, it's great, honestly. I, I think our regular grass is better. Um, I think that's a, a pretty, not, not so, um, yeah, not so new take, I guess, um, where obviously we prefer regular grass. I think the NFL guys also prefer regular grass. Um, and it would be nice, uh, or it would be nice to see, you know, I think for the World Cup, um, when they lay grass here, see how it kind of plays and see how it kind of will be. But, um, you know, today we, we had to deal with it, they had to deal with it, and that's how it is always. What was it like seeing Messi put in a performance like that uh, in your kind of home region? Yeah, I mean, it's, first of all, it's special to see so many people come out and support, obviously, us and, and, and the refs as well, and kind of see how, how far his reach is. You know, this is uh, obviously a soccer-loving community, I feel like, and, um, and, and it's something that... Um, yeah, I hope that it continues, you know, and that they get more crowds and then more people come in to attend games. I think obviously Rhode Island just had a new, got a new team. Um, but again, it's, it's something, yeah, he, it's great, you know, to have this kind of crowd. And um, Leo is, you know, is Leo. <laughs> he does the things he does uh, for, for his whole career. And um, this wasn't just the one spectacular performance he had. I think he's been having those um, every weekend and um, he's certainly, certainly on a, on a roll. And, it's good uh, for us because it helps. He helps us win games. If you put yourself back in college, would you ever have imagined, I guess, playing on the same team as Messi? <laughs> I mean, absolutely not. It's it's something that I don't think I would have imagined last year. You know, so um, I'm happy in college. I would have been happy with a really good career, and you know, I'm, I'm living that. I'm I'm kind of taking steps at a time and trying to work hard and, and keeping keeping myself. Um, yeah, just just giving myself more and more opportunities and, and kind of staying humble and trying to work hard, and that's really what has gotten me this far and hopefully will get me a few more years as well. You've had a really good career since leaving Providence. You've been a top level pro for a long time. What, what's been the key to your consistency over time? It's, it's hard to like specific pinpoint uh, one or, or two things, right? It's, it's a, I think it's a, a matter of, of just work ethic, commitment to, you know, listening, being open to, to kind of coaching from a lot of different angles and, and those types of things and just, uh, yeah, being being a good guy that that, that, that that excuse me that does the work, and uh, I certainly yeah try and do that and, and try and uh, continue to on this path, um, and not shy away from you know taking it easy all of a sudden and and, and just being like okay now I've kind of made it now I want to continue and I want to um, you know get better and, and learn and, and keep improving as well and then we'll hopefully see how many more years we get. Awesome, thank you. Thank Thanks, you. guys. Thank you so Appreciate much. it. Yeah. Appreciate uh -huh. it. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, how are you? Thank you. Uh, it's the second, second place in the number of spectators here in the, in the history of the football in this okay. uh, 
it's for Messi. <laughs> because of Messi. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you surprised for this? Uh, because you are since two or three months playing with him, but are you still surprised with what happened around Messi? No, not really. Um, I know that this country and, and a lot of places in this country have a, a love for soccer. And um, that love, unfortunately, doesn't get captured by MLS as much. So when stars like Messi come, it always excites people and it, it gets people um, to come to games and, and to come to play and to come to watch the games more in the stadium. And um, I hope that there will be more of this when just the regular MLS games happen and then, you know, Messi, maybe after Messi, um, is, is, is gone from MLS. I hope that it, this league will capture more of the fans. Um, but, I mean, this is not surprising. Messi is, is he's, what, what really gets me is how much, how many people he, he, he touches with his play, right? He, he, how many emotions he creates in people, and that's something so special to see. And I knew that this area especially is also a soccer-loving area. So I knew that tonight was going to be like this, and it was awesome. Uh, well, Inter won for one yeah. big, big win, but the start of the game, the same of every game. Yes. What do you feel about this? Yeah, it's, it's something that we have to stop. You know, it's something that we... It's, it's a little bit frustrating because you prepare the game, you think about the game, and then always we, we fall behind. And, um, you know, today it worked. There will be times where maybe it won't work and then you know we we maybe only score one goal and then we tie the game if, if, and you know, those things are um, i always feel like we can obviously score goals with the quality that we have but it certainly is a lot easier when it's zero zero than when it's one zero um, especially away and um you know if, i think 30 seconds is, is too early um and it's something that yeah we'll have to focus on and we'll have to look at of what we can do to change that thank you so much yeah no problem.